guys active exploit here back again with another video uh, and in today's video we are going to talk about domain enumeration using power view uh, and for the sake of uh, today's video we are going to utilize a room on try hack me known as post exploitation basics right uh, so before starting the video uh, first of all thank you so much as the channel uh, recently hit 500 subscribers and i really appreciate the support um, and I hope the channel will grow like this in the future too. So, uh, if you are new to the channel, make sure to subscribe uh, and turn on the notifications. So, uh, with that being said, let's get started. Alright, so first question. What the hell is PowerView? So, PowerView is a really, really great tool uh, written in PowerShell, which can be used to enumerate the domain once again access to a machine. And, you know, there are... Uh, similar similar tools um, available uh, exactly like power view and uh, there is a tool known as bloodhound which is not like power view but like you know it is it is a really great tool and um, a lot better than power view in my opinion right and if you guys want me to cover it I will surely make a video uh, on it and how to use it but for now let's get started with power view and let's first of all explore what power power view is and how can we use it so uh, here is try hack me and i already have deployed the machine uh, and and if you haven't deployed the machine i, I would suggest that you should uh, connect to your open vpn pack and deploy the machine and for those who don't know which room is this uh, it is post exploitation basics and if you also want to perform the practical with me uh, in this video I will uh, put a link down in the description to join this room right and secondly uh, I would suggest that you should uh, complete this room after this video ends because you know it is really really great and covers almost all the basics of post exploitation such as enumeration uh, and dumping hashes right so uh, first of all in a real life pen test scenario you won't have power view uh, already uh, saved on your target machine right but in this case, uh, the makers of this machine already have, um, you know, saved uh, the files which are useful for this room, such as Mimic Ads and Power View, uh, and and they are located in the downloads folder of this machine, right? So uh, in order to download Power View, all you have to do is search Power View download on Google, and you'll get a link, uh, a GitHub repository, and just click on it and you'll get redirected to that page and you have the powerview.powershell file over here so uh, all you have to do is uh, download this file and then you'll be good to go all right so uh, now let's get started with this so first of all i'll actually have to connect this using rdp or ssh so i'm i'm, I'm actually going to use ssh because i'm familiar with that so i'm just going to use the credentials to log in i'm going to say ssh administrator and the IP address of the machine which is 10.10.133.105 in this case 105 and I'm gonna say yep all right so it's asking for the password and it password should be p at the rate dollars dollar uh, w o r d just copy this and paste this over here and there we go we are connected so first of all um, in this room uh, as, as I told you previously that the powerview.ps1 uh, power file is already stored in downloads directory so without any further delay I'm just going to change my directory to downloads and as you can see we already have the powerview.ps1 file so uh, in order to start enumerating using this tool what are we gonna do is I'm gonna say PowerShell dash EP bypass and in this case dash EP means the execution policy and bypass is basically we are setting the execution policy to bypass so that you know it doesn't throw us any kind of alerts when we are trying to execute commands so I'm gonna press enter and there we go PowerShell is loaded so uh, now in order to load the tool all you have to do is type a dot space dot and a backslash and say powerview.ps1 and press enter and the tool should be loaded 
so first of all uh, let's get started with the first command which is uh, get net domain and this command is basically you know going to um, display information about the domain um, uh, about the domain right so you have the domain name which is controller.local in this case uh, we have the forest name which is the same uh, we have the domain mode and so on right now uh, let's say that we want to list out all the users um, which are attached uh, on, to this domain right so for that I'm gonna say get net users and as you can see we have uh, all the users over here but this is a bit like you know uh, messed up so to get this in a good format I'm gonna say get net user and I'm gonna say select CN and there we go we have all the users so we have the administrator user we have the guest user we have the Kerberos ticket granting ticket user uh, we have machine one admin to SQL service and so on uh, so as you can see we were able to display uh, all the users on the machine now let's say that I want more information uh, instead of only the usernames right so for that uh, as I as I mentioned the command uh, previously it was get net user oh my god I must uh, I'm really really sorry And as you can see, uh, we, we, we can, you know, display all kinds of information about the user. So now uh, let's try to list all the shares on this uh, current machine, right? So for that, I'm going to say invoke share finder. And as you can see, we get all the shares which are listed on the machine. Uh, and, and we can also try to connect one of them, but uh, not now, right? this is not the right time so now let's say I want to get uh, the list of domain members which are belonging to a given group for that I'm gonna say get net group member and this command is you know as, as I told you previously that is it is going to list all the domain members which are belonging to a given group so in this case the group name is domain admins and we have SQL service as uh, uh, the domain admin right so the member is SQL service and uh, SQL service is a part of the uh, domain admin right and over here we have the same we have the domain admins and we have the user admin too in this case and below we have administrator in this case right alright so now let's say that, that uh, I, I want to get users that are logged on uh, to a computer right so for that I'm gonna say get net logged on and this is going to uh, you know basically list out uh, all the computers which uh, all the users which are logged on to a given computer but this is not like uh, you know uh, here it won't dis display much information because this is uh, a room on try hack me intentionally made for uh, post exploitation right so uh, now let's say that I want uh, to find uh, machines on the local domain where uh, specified users are logged in right so for that I'm gonna say invoke user hunter and as you can see we uh, currently we have the administrator user logged in uh, and this is the IP address of that machine and we have the computer name too so uh, now let's say that I want to enumerate members of the local administrator groups across all the machines in the domain and for that I'm gonna say invoke uh, enumerate local admin and as you can see we have um, all the members of the local administrator groups um, on this on this domain and we have the uh, server over here which is domain controller dot controller dot local in this case uh, and we also have information about the SID as you can see we have the SID information uh, we also have information about if this particular account name is a group uh, is, is in the group or is is a domain admin right so uh, now let's say that we want to check if the current user has local administrator access so for that I'm gonna say invoke check 
local admin access uh, oh yeah uh, my bad my bad number invoke uh, check local admin access and as you can see it says true so basically it means that we are local admin alright so that's all for today's video I hope you guys enjoyed it uh, also if you want to dive in deep and know this uh, tool more I will drop down some resources for you all in the description below from where you can learn and improve right so uh, that's all guys I will see you all in the next video make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel